All right, another SAT practice question. Here we have 8 over x is equal to 160, and we have to find out what x is. Well, the truth is you do not need to know how to solve this equation the math way, because here are the candidates for the x, right? All we have to do is just plug in and check. So let me show you. If you put 1,280 back here, we are talking about 8 over 1, 2, 8, 0. Are we really going to get 160? No, right? Impossible. 8 divided by this number? No, not possible. So this right here is definitely not the answer. And likewise, if you put 80 here, no, 8 over 80, it's like 0 0.1. And then 20, same thing. So you know the answer has to be D because process of elimination, and then we are done. So this right here is very nice. And of course, I will have to show you guys the actual map way of solving this, just for learning purpose, I will say. So here's the deal. When we have 8 over x, it's equal to 160. You see the x is on the bottom, so what we can do is just multiply both sides of x. That way, we can cancel, cancel, and we are talking about 8 equals 160x. And then, this is, 800, this is 160 times x, so we divide both sides by 160, like so. Therefore, this and that can cancel, and we get x is equal to 8 over 160. And we can do a long division real quick. 8 on the inside, 160 on the outside. And then you see 160 goes into 8 zero times, and then we put a decimal point, and then just put 0, and uh, 160 goes into 80 zero times. And then put another 0. Lastly, what times 160 is equal to 800? And the answer for that is 5. 5 times this is 800. So subtract. Remainder is 0. So that means the answer is 0 0.05, right? So this is how you do it the math way. And of course, for this right here, you could figure out what the answer is if you just plug in and check. For more SAT practice questions, check out my playlist over there and also have some um, guessing tricks over there for you guys. So definitely have a look.